How to make a touch switch circuit using a 2N390 for transistor. Hello, and welcome to Circuit Design by Abdul Wahid. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a simple touch switch circuit using a 2N390 for transistor. This is a great project for beginners, so let's get started. Components you'll need 1. 2N3904 NPN transistor, 2. Resistors, 10K, 1M and for 70 3 lead 4 touch plate you can use a piece of metal or a conductive material 5 breadboard and jumper wires 6 power supply 5 volts or 9 volts battery step 1 setting up the transistor place the 2n390 for transistor on the breadboard remember the pins are emitter e base b and collector c from left to right when the flat side is facing you step 2 Connecting the resistors. Connect the 10 kilo ohm resistor between the base B of the transistor and the positive rail. VC of the breadboard. Connect the 1 mega ohm resistor between the base B of the transistor and one terminal of the touch plate. Step 3. Wiring the touch plate. Connect the other terminal of the touch plate to the negative rail GND of the breadboard. Step 4. Setting up the LED. Connect the anode long leg of the LED to the collector C of the transistor. Connect the 470 ohm resistor from the cathode short leg of the LED to the positive rail VC. Step 5. Completing the circuit. Connect the emitter E of the transistor to the negative rail. GND of the breadboard. Finally, connect your power supply. Attach the positive terminal to the positive rail VC and the negative terminal to the negative rail GND. Step 6. Testing the circuit. When you touch the touch plate, the LED should light up. Remove your finger and the LED will turn off. If the LED doesn't light up, double check your connections and ensure your power supply is working. And there you have it. A simple touch switch circuit using a 2N390 for transistor. This is a fantastic project to understand the basics of transistors and touch sensitive circuits. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Circuit Design by Abdul Wahid. For more educational electronics projects, see you next time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.